Good morning, guys. This is View from the Pastor Study. It is Tuesday morning, March 22nd. Got some bad weather heading into our area, so please be careful if you're in the South Mississippi area and take the necessary precautions. Also, I want to invite you to join us Wednesday night as we resume our activities with our children and our fellowship meal will be at 5.15 p.m. to 6 p.m. We're in Revelation chapter 7 as we look at the 144,000 from a biblical point of view and also look at the, the host and the multitude who are worshiping God uh, during the opening of these seals. So I invite you to come join us for that time. That's at 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. online. We're talking about Jesus' commands from the Gospel of John, and here is the command that you need to know. It's found in John 13. And listen to it. Let Jesus wash your feet. Let Jesus wash your feet. It's an interesting illustration Jesus does. They are meeting in the upper room more than likely, and it's the only time you have this account. John 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 is going to get into some unique events and commands in Jesus' lives, life that the other gospel writers don't talk about. I think John is filling in the gaps of those last few days. And one of the events is an event in which Jesus, knowing that Judas is going to betray him, knowing that he has this responsibility to give his life as a ransom for the souls of men, uh, takes off his outer garments, puts on an apron, and washes his disciples' feet. A chore that would normally be set aside because you had dirt roads back then, you wore sandals, your feet would get dirty, you'd come into a home, and it was an act of the lowest type of service and humblest service to wash somebody's feet. And uh, Jesus talks about this. And foot washing without Jesus washing your feet, uh, Just I know a lot of churches do foot washing, but, but if you miss the spiritual meaning behind it, you're going to miss the whole thing. So let me, let me read the passage to you, and then we'll go from there. Let's start from uh, verse... 6 of John 13. It says, Then Jesus came to Simon Peter, and Peter said to him, Lord, are you washing my feet? Jesus answered and said, What I am doing you do not understand now, but you will know after this. Jesus, Peter said to him, You shall never wash my feet. And Jesus said, If I do not wash you, you have no part with me. Now, beloved, that does not mean that if somehow somebody didn't wash your feet, that you can't have a part with Jesus. It's got to do with something deeper. It has to do with Jesus being in charge of the cleansing of your life. How do you know that, Brother John? Well, listen to what it says. Verse 9, Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but my hands and my head. Wash all of me, Lord. Wash all of me. If, it's, if, it's, if i got to have a part with you, wash all of me. And he said, he who is bathed needs only to wash his feet but is completely clean. And you are clean, but not all of you. Now, they'd all been through the same dirt, but who was he talking about? For he knew who would betray him. Therefore, he said, you are not all clean. Let's read a little bit farther. So when he had washed their feet, taken his garments, he sat down again. And he said, do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you say, well, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. It's the idea of cleanliness, not physical cleanliness, although that may be important. Spiritual cleanliness. As a believer, if you've trusted Christ, you're clean. But there's still the dirt of the world, the sin of the world, that gets stuck in our feet. you got to deal with that sin. How do you deal with it? Let Jesus wash your feet. Let him deal with the sin in your life. Confess your sin to him. Acknowledge that sin. Repent of that sin. Let him do his cleansing work in your life. And if necessary, wash one another's feet. Hold one another accountable. Do that role of service to one another. Uh, deal with sin. Bear one another's burdens. Help keep your feet clean. We got to live in this world. We're going to get our spiritual feet dirty. But beloved, if we want to part with Jesus, 
we got to let Jesus wash our feet. And we need to be willing to wash the feet of others. Get down in the dirt to help others get their spiritual feet. The most uncomely part of your body, the feet. Get those feet clean. Because that's what Jesus wanted us to do. So I pray God will help you to do that today. And may we let Jesus cleanse us in our everyday life. So God bless you. And you have a good Tuesday.